<clears throat> all right, all right, guys. What is going on? Spirit vs. Robot here. Back at it again with Uncharted 3, Jake's Deception. Let's hop right back into it. We left off. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. This time I didn't mess up with the video recording. And I didn't have to start over. Or if where I was leaving off last time. So what the hell are we looking for anyway? The Golden Hind. Could it be a model? Maybe a painting. What makes you think it's even here? It's gotta be here. Buckland Abbey for all we know. What? Buckland Abbey, it's a place you've never been there, move on. Well, there's a chair there made from the wood of his ship. That's crazy. I suppose it could be, but no. No, it's gotta be here. So it's like a deer head, pretty much. This place is amazing. The things in here must be worth a fortune. Nate, you can't be screwing around like this. They'll be back any minute. Come on, Nate. Okay, they that for no <laughs> like he has the horns on that one woman Was this like a clue in his handbook for me or something? It's such a source of deer, obviously. Iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. Wood everywhere, and of course they're no help. They're just following me. Of course, 
There it no. is. No. I found ah. it. Ah. Right. Up there. The figurehead from Drake's ship. <clears throat> Headshot. I got five. Oh, there is there's my trophy. Five headshots in a row. That's what I was aiming for. Ah. <laughs> LOLs, game jokes. Those guys go with the uh, laser pointers. What was that noise?
Hey, what is that? Shoot the sawed off shotgun at all. Oh, I just lost my uh There we go. There we go. Nope, go back. Where the hell are we? It's the North Atwood Station. Come on. Chloe, can you read me? We're coming out the old North Apple Station. There's no time to explain. We've got to... Just in time. So the guy says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job, well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. See this, Mark? This is John D's signature. Who the hell's John D? John D? 
One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Hey, way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John Dee who sent Drake to Arabia? Yeah, it looks that way. Dee and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you've lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia... It would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, oh, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubalkali Desert. Right here. Well, <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. What was that? No, hang on a second. Because if you recall, the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. This time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like it's Sabian, Sabian script. script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impassable wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <sighs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Yeah. Not too far? <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or twenty. That time you got us lost in Peru? Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over me. I was 15, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? Always get you out. There's any treasures here that I can get. Woo. Yep, found one.
Come on, through here. There it is, just like in Lawrence's notes. Gotta have more faith in me, Sully. Of course, I don't remember this ravine being on the map. Ah, they must have just put that in. All right. Come on, we'll find another way around. Wait, what the heck was that? Oh, okay, cool. It's just a statue. Hey, is that a pan flute? Wait, what was that? It's like something was jugged across there that used to be right here. Close. This way. Watch your step. Ooh. I don't know, kid. You sure we're in the right place? It doesn't seem old enough to be a crusader castle. It's more like Renaissance. You haven't been reading my books again, have you, Sully? <laughs> now, Lawrence says the original castle was built in the 11th century. The rest was added on later. <clears throat> oh, now, this looks sketchy. Ooh, buddy. Ooh. Ah, what are you waiting for? I loosened it up for you. Yeah, that's the yeah. problem. Look, Sully, your first car. <laughs> Man, that's a 1927 Albert. Ooh, he was new. And trash. Yeah? What's this, Mr. Wizard? Monarch. Pretty taggy. <laughs> now, the knight who owned this castle, Lord Godfrey, returned from the Crusades in the 12th century. Now, according to Lawrence, all that's left of the original castle is the square keep in the gardens. If Godfrey brought any secrets back from Arabia, that's where we're going to find them. Any more treasures? That window above you. I don't want to cut myself. All right, nice going, kid. Be right back. Treasures? No? No? Okay. Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, Careful, kid. Hey, kid. Up here. Chain shut. All right, back up. I'll shoot the lock off. Make sure that's the only thing you shoot off. I said lock. Oh, I lost ammo. That's a cool looking painting. Okay. We've got to make our way through the chateau to the gardens. That's where we'll find the old keep. Oh, man. Look at this place. It's nice. Really nice. Treasures? No treasures. No. Can't get it open. This damn beam's in the way. Yeah, we got to get some leverage. 
Think you can get up there? I'll try. Looks like those chandeliers are on some kind of pulley system. Yeah, must be how they lowered them down to clean them. Hey, there's some kind of mechanism over there. I gotta find a way across. That didn't work out. Got it. Oh, yeah, there's this guy. I have an idea. What are you doing? There you go, kid. All right, here we go. All right, got it. There, I'm in. Question is, in what? Is that a popcorn machine? That's neato. Let's see if we can find a way to that tower. This place is nice. Hey, Nate. Square tower. Looks pretty old. Yeah. That matches the one in Lawrence's notebook. That must be it. Nice. Thanks. Yep. Treasure. Gotta get the treasure. Seventeen eighty six. No, it's <laughs> a wide open window. Looks like we can 
get through here. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Watch it! Oh man. Oh, thanks. Hey, Nate. Isn't this the same symbol that was on the tower? Yeah. That's gotta mean something, right? Maybe a secret passage? In a fireplace? Kind of on the nose, don't you think? Yeah, it's too simple. Go back. There's something weird about these suits of armor. Come here, check it out. Oh, yeah, I've already figured them out. The bases rotate. Interesting. Anything in Lawrence's notebook about this? Let me check. Yeah. Here, see? Four knights. An axe, a shield, a sword, and a morning star. Just like the ones in this room. So the shield faces the axe guy. Maybe we gotta turn each knight so it's facing the right way. Yeah, but what's the right way? Okay, maybe halfway at faces shield. it like shoulder axe axe to shield must be some kind of trick to it pattern oh hey look at that okay I'll push you pull on three ready one, two, pull, or one, two, three, pull? Just pull. Got it. <laughs> oh. Eight? Hey, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll live. Good guy. There's no way I'm getting back up there. I'm going to head this way. Just meet me on the other side. Right. Hope there is another side. Treasure out of the bag. That's really fancy. I like that. What's that noise? The hell is that noise? You heard it too? Okay, good. Am I supposed to fight like some super mutant spider or something? I'm about to face something, ain't I? Aren't I? Oh, I hate spider. Oh! Ew! That's grody. I hate spiders. Was too close. I 
as far as I saw some flash right here. Oh wait, there is, oh my gosh. Sorry, I saw some treasure in the background. Wait, I know I saw something flashing in Linton over here somewhere. Oh, thank God. Way out. All right, I should be able to climb up through there. Wait, what? There's nothing flashing now. Piece of cake. somewhere. Hunt them down. I gotta warn Sully. <laughs> oh, wait, what? There you are. Jesus, they brought a small army with them. All right, cat, you need to sit down. There we go. Sorry guys, my cat got up. Okay. Uh, thanks for the gift, boys. Ooh. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end this video here. <clears throat> Thank you for watching.
Hope y'all like it. And in the meantime, I'll catch y'all in this video. Stay awesome, stay beautiful. I love you guys. And I will see y'all soon in the next video.